So this is my old television <clears throat> from back when. I bought it from Plessers. It's a Sansui. Um, you know, it's like about 20 years old, but I, I didn't use it for about six of those years, something like that. You know, flash screens came in. So I've already taken everything apart. And guess what? The best place to pop these things <clears throat> so that they, they um, it's not negative uh, air, it's not going to blow, it's not going to implode. Is to pop it right there. Look at that. And I did. It's actually just a piece of metal there. It's for uh, the high voltage uh, cup that, that goes here. And this is very strong around here. Even though the back of the screen is much um, delicate than the front. The front's like f like three inches, seems like. And the back is like, I don't know, one. Can't get this off. Don't glue it on. It's not the way it's supposed to. Like, what? So. Oh, that's what I did it with. <laughs> that's what I popped it with. But the other people say to crush this behind here. There's a little nipple here. <clears throat> a little nipple in the back of this. Where, you know, that's where the tube is manufactured and ended. You know, and, and suctioned off. But even that can hurt you. So, yeah, this is just really cool. Just go, pssst, nothing happens. So I can smash this up and throw it out. I heard that there's lead in the glass. I'm not sure if uh, I should throw it out. It's slightly toxic, I guess. I don't know. How much lead's in that glass? So here's the actual guts to the Sansui. There's not much to it. It's kind of cool to see Samsung made the flyback. And the, the tiny little yoke piece that's on it. Three transistors right there. Resistors there. Heat sink, more transistors. <laughs> now the biggest cap uh, capacitor in here it's it's a uh, like a hundred volts, and the actual tube of the television is a short tube. It's not it's not a longy. It's not, it's not a fat tube, even though the television was pretty fat for being non-fat. So so here's the other one I'm going to decommission. I left it in the rain, uh, <laughs> close to a month, I guess, in front of the house, and some kid said, oh, can I get that television from you? But I didn't want him being uh, involved in getting hurt with it or anything like that. Oh, yes, there was a reflection of a dead battery in the roof. <laughs> it, it's really bad. It's bulging, too. So I said no to him. I said, no, it's mine. He, he, he wouldn't give me, uh, he wouldn't leave me alone, actually. He, and she said, uh, I know you can't get rid of that. Sure, I'm going to get rid of it right now. So I got the back cover off, which, you know, requires a freaking socket wrench. I forgot about that. Freaking, uh, hey, what is this? Uh, it's hard to read. Quarter inch. All right. So the reason why I didn't plug this television in and actually try it out after being in the rain, and I'm pretty sure it worked. I mean, and this thing was very black. That means high hours. I I cleaned this off when COVID happened. I was out of work, so you know I pissed my mom off. And I brought this thing upstairs after finding it in the trash. So I thought it was cool, 1985, you know, I thought it was video game, uh, you know, I played with video games, you know, the, the old stuff. 
But later found out the television actually is really horrible. So. I'm going to attempt to get this cup off of here. Because this is where you actually vent the, the television. Look, it doesn't look... Th it's not that bad. It's really filthy. Hey, I'll be back. Alright, so with this piece of metal to a grounding point, I want that screwdriver up there. I need to go into that cap. So, I'll be back again. So, the, the television has been off so long, there, were, there was no built up charge left. Got the little cup off. Anyway, right there, I'm going to poke it. Uh, this is going to be difficult. I have a cell phone that I'm using. How the hell am I going to document that? I mean, it's actually metal in there. Gross around it. Why is it so waxy around it? Look at that. Ugh. Is it... Oof. But there's a good amount of copper uh, better on this one than the larger television. Back when they actually put more stuff upon it, I guess. A couple of fuses I can get out of this. But the electronics are so old, uh, I'm not going to keep anything. Oh, and the, other, the other reason why I got, got rid of it, too, because the speaker would vibrate the hell out of, out of this travel chassis. Ooh, travel. Anyway, just take my word for it when I poke this thing that you're going to hear tss. You hear it? That glass in there hasn't been around the atmosphere in almost 40 years. Anyway, I'm going to... <laughs> now that it's safe... I'll be taking all this stuff out of here, throwing this out separately, throwing the plastic out separately, and wondering what I'm going to do with the damn glass. But now it's super safe and everything's fine. Oh, this is Admiral Overseas Corporation. It's a Korean television. It's not that bad. It has some good components in there. Proper stuff. Proper freaking cup, man. Some of our shit wasn't that good, you know? Looks like there was a little bit of life left in, in, in there, you know, but I'm not down with this anymore.